everyone, welcome to my tutorial today. Um, I wanted to do something really simple and really quick, but also with a slight nod to autumn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a really bold and beautiful autumnal lip, but with a really simple makeup. But at the same time, I'm also gonna show you how you can make your lips look a little bit bigger without any plumping, without any surgery or anything like that, just simply through the art of makeup. But I'm not gonna go crazy, so all of you guys can follow that at home. I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna start off with the Eucerin Day Moisturizer Cream. This has got elasticity and filler in it. Um, I really, really like their cream, their full body cream. Um, it's amazing. Um, and I really like it on the legs and stuff, but this moisturiser, this is just a day cream one and it's really nice. So I don't want to spend an awful lot of time on my base and foundation because it's not really about that. Today I just want to concentrate on the lips. So I'm going to just use the Bare Mineral Pro, this colour is in Toffee, this is the new Bare Minerals foundation. Um, I really like it, it's quite matte, um, probably more matte than I normally would go for. Um, but I actually really like this as a foundation. Um, they've got something like 26 colours or something crazy like that. Um, using my double-ended Bobbi Brown brush. I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Natural Full Coverage Concealer. Um, I really like this Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Concealer. The only thing I would say about it, um, which isn't a negative, it, it really does cover underneath, it's really, it's quite thick um, so I think that might put a lot of people off but it's very creamy so you don't have to worry too much about that the only other thing I would say is that it does crease a little bit under the eye um, which is a bit annoying so like you put it on throughout the day and obviously you've got to pop a little bit of powder on underneath just to set it which is fine but I am noticing that it is a little bit creasy under the eye. Um, now, I'm not gonna actually put anything on my eyelids um, just because I really wanna keep this really super clean, really natural. I'm gonna put, curl my eyelashes and put a little bit of mascara on. I'm taking the Kevin O'Quan eyelash curlers as always. And then I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs. This is just a tester by the way, guys, I'm using at the moment. This is the Marc Jacobs um, mascara. I really like it. The only thing is I would say is there's quite a lot of product on the brush. I don't know whether or not this is just because it's a tester. So I always kind of scrape the product off the brush because otherwise it can be a little bit gloopy. Um, but by having the tester, I've really liked the mascara. So um, I haven't bought it yet, but I definitely would go and buy it just because I think it's great the fact that you're able to try before you buy. Pretty. Right. Just gonna run a little product through my eyebrows. I'm gonna take the Wonder Brow 2 D Defined. It's not Wonder Brow 2, is it? Oh. But I'm gonna take the liner side here. Uh, this has just got the liner that you squish up there. I'm just gonna run that through my eyebrows very, very gently. Uh, the color that I'm using is blau brown. Nice one. Um, is brown black. Just gonna take the other end now, which is the little mascara bit. Just brush those into place. Now, um, I'm just gonna put a teeny weeny bit of bronzer on my cheeks as well, just to lift my skin. And the one that I'm gonna use is this little bad boy. This is from Max Factor. Uh, I've got uh, creme de bronze number 10. This one here. I love this because it's got a little bit of sheen to it. Um, so it's really, really nice on the cheeks. I like the fact that it's got a bit of sheen. So it kind of, I don't wanna give myself too much of a glow and stuff, but I'm just gonna give myself a little bit of a kind of contour with this. Now when it comes to choosing colors for autumn, I always tend to look at my natural lip color. Now I've got quite a dark natural lip color, but at the same time my skin is quite warm. So I'm naturally drawn to quite um, deep dark colours so I can go for quite good burgundy colours um, if I'm going for a red I go for much warmer red tones like bricky colours um, reds that have orange in them I really love I love orange for instance I can go for quite bright but warming tones because of my skin tone now if you're more blonde and you've actually got more paler skin than me um, and you you actually probably will suit more lilac -y tones more brown tones things like that 
it's all a question of trial and error. If you love a colour and you put it on and it makes you look dead, then you know it's not right for you. It's all about trying different things. Now, it's because it's autumn, I really want to go for something quite striking. I haven't got a lot on my eyes, but I don't want to go for something like a pillar box red because actually they don't suit me at all. Um, I much prefer more of a dark burgundy kind of deeper colour red. Um, but actually, today I'm going to go for raisin. Now, I'm gonna try and make my lips look a little bit fuller and plumper for you, so I can really give you a demonstration of how to make your lips look fuller, just simply by using a lipstick. Now, I'm actually gonna use this. This one here is from Nude Stick. This is Raven, and this is actually, as you can see, a pencil. Now, I think these kind of lip colors are perfect. You can get loads and loads of lip colors now that are shapes of pencils, and you've got a lip liner and a lipstick in one. Um, now, before I start any of that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a tiny bit of illuminating powder. Now, it might seem a bit odd, but it really works, and it also helps plump up the lips a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Becca, and this one is in, what color? Champagne Pop. I'm obsessed with this highlighter. And I'm just gonna take this on my Cupid's bow, just a little bit, the top bit of my lip. So you can naturally see that I've got a little bit of a, of a highlighter on my lip. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna take a little bit across my cheekbones. Oh, I love this, I love this. And down my nose a little bit. Just because I like it. Right, let's crack on. Now, I'm taking Raven, and I really love this colour. It's a kind of very dark, as you can see, burgundy colour. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very carefully draw a line around my lips. Now I'm going to start from the outside. Now as you can see here I'm going very carefully and the great thing about these is they're very very soft but I'm also wanting to lift my lips a little bit. Now my lips are quite wonky anyway naturally um, so what I'm going to do is try and equal them up but I don't want to go massively huge with my lips but also I've got quite a big cupid's bow so I've got a quite a pronounced top lip. So what I'm gonna do is take my Cupid's bow, just really pronunciate that. And the one way to do that is also by doing a little X. So X, X. And that just gives you that really good line there. Now I want my lips to look a little bit fuller. So what I'm gonna do is very gently, very gently, just slightly on the outside of my natural lip line. Now not crazy on the outside, so it doesn't look like I've got humongous lips, but I'm just gonna slightly draw on the outskirts of my lip. But guys, I'm not going crazy. I'm not going massively out on my lip, natural lip line. But as you can see already, my lips instantly look bigger and fuller just by taking it slightly on the outside, but it's very slight, it's not gone crazy. Now what I'm going to do is take a tiny bit of gloss and just pop it in the middle. This is from New CID and this is in Honey Pot. I love this gloss. And look how snazzy it is. It's got a little white attached to it. Just a tiny bit. of gloss. Now it's a light reflecting gloss this one so it's got a lot of sheen to it. But again guys, this will just give you that really really gorgeous sheen to your lips. So there you have it guys, a super easy and very very quick autumnal lip tutorial. Oh would you look at those luscious lips. <laughs>